So welcome back to uh, City Skylines. Uh, so we just uh, got upgraded to Worthy Village. So our next stop is Tiny Town. So when we are a Worthy vi <laughs> Village we can build a fire department, police department, uh, as well as some industry specializations like agriculture and forestry uh, and we have some policies so policies are like uh, some uh, a little bit of a bonus I would say so you can for example uh, make people use less power or less water or reduce the uh, risk of uh, fire so these will cost a small upkeep uh, and I will go with the smoke detector distribution because I think I have plenty of uh, power and plenty of water so it should be fine for now and there are some commercial districts that lack water so let's fix that first so um, let's just uh, build a pipe like that like that okay so the next plan is to build all these kind of uh, like uh, fire department and police department and stuff to make people happy um, but without uh, using too much money so first of all I have to uh, figure out where to put all this stuff so let's just um, start by connecting our roads here so let's build a curved one like that so like that uh, and put some more houses just so we can meet the demand in the future so uh, I guess we can just do like that so I still have a lot of industry zones so that's all right but I have to make some kind of a center for all my uh, public buildings so I think I will go with kind of a roundabout and try to um, connect it with this large road here so something like this and I will have to remove these power lines I guess I don't think they really do anything so yeah this will be fine so I will try to focus my public uh, buildings around here so like that and I think uh, school is one of the more important ones so let's put it like that and we'll have a fire department perhaps I should place the fire department uh, close to my industry so yeah I think I'll sp put it here and uh, I also I will also need a police department but uh, now I'm out of money so let's just unpause and see how it goes so I will need uh, water and electricity to my school 
So let's do it like that. And we could just put some more houses down. So we should get the electricity through the zones instead of building power lines. And we also have to place a landfill. So, I mean, this is a no brainer, but I'll put it as far away as possible from my from my houses. Uh, yeah, so just continue with uh, this road. Can make it a straight road. And place the landfill over here, like that. Okay. So now we ho have the most uh, basic uh, buildings in place. I just hope that someone moves in so the school get power. Let's see what more thing that. Well, things we unlocked so perhaps go for some agriculture and we can also buy new areas so if you look at the areas that are available I can buy these four in the beginning uh, and the best one I think is this one because that way I can uh, edit the highway for example make another ramp to my industry and to my residential area and also I have a lot of land to fill up to the north and that will cost me 4000 so it's not that exp expensive I like that this guy is moving in where there is no power Whatever. Just do something like that. Garbage are piled up. Okay. I think the landfill will be handling most of the garbage. I mean, it's only like 800 people here, so it shouldn't be any problems. And he misses water, really. Okay. He got his own private pipeline. Hmm. Okay, that's strange. Uh, anyway, the drain pipe. So this is the sewage. Yeah. Okay, so I am still losing a lot of money, and that's usually not a good sign. So, I think I will need some more commercial zones, like right over here. And they will need some water as well. But mostly it's, it's about uh, waiting and just also, like I said before, you get bonuses when you level up your uh, city. And that's great. They want me to build a clinic. But I have no money. And I, but I haven't taken any loans. Perhaps I should take a loan and just, and just build a clinic. Might as well. Next to a school. I don't really know if uh, the land value is increased by living next to the the river. I think it should be, but you never know. Okay, so let's look at some traffic. It's still fine, but I mean, I haven't built that much yet. So, how are our budgets doing? 
So most of our money goes to water and uh, power, but also a lot of firefighting. Still don't have a police station. So we should build one of those. But I also need to level up my city so I get more more money. You really need these kind of uh, money injections in the beginning of the game. So let's try to build for some more zoning, I guess. Even if the demand is not that high. Like that. And we have a fire. I wonder where the fire trucks are. Oh yeah, I built a fire station over here. That's a fire truck. I wonder where he's going. Hmm. Okay. I wonder why I didn't uh, <laughs> drive this way. At least I hope he saves the house, as well as the people, of course. But I like the level of detail like that. I mean, you can click on anything really and uh, follow them around. So this is a donut van delivering goods to the commercial district and stuff like that. So I will need some water to these uh, new Zones like so, and also it's a little bit uh, hard to get the balance going in the positives in the beginning when you have so much expenses for power and the water that you, I mean, you only use you're only using it like a quarter or something or half, I guess. So. Perhaps I will do like a commercial district here. It should be okay. So let's um, be like this and uh, make a kind of a roundabout, I guess. Mm. I mean, I only need... Ah, oh, well, whatever. Okay, so we leveled up. Nice. So what did we get? We did... We get uh, some new policies and decorations. But also the high school, so I guess soon I have to build a high school as well. Um, but now I got this uh, bonus money, so the first thing I'm going to bu build is a police department, and I will build it here in my downtown area before I forget. And then continue with. Uh, Commercial district. So I will build. Hmm. Just like that. That's good enough. I think I will uh, leave one empty empty 
towards my roundabout because I don't want to have deliveries in the roundabout might cause traffic jams There's a lot of fires, even with uh, policy, smoke detectors, free smoke detectors, well well. Okay, so we are getting uh, some more demand, still for commercials. Okay, so... Elementary school, uh, that's one I already have, so it's the high school I will need in the future so we can see that the elementary school is uh, almost full and we have uh, almost 400 students for the high school I call that bullshit when we only have 1300 people but okay so we need more houses and I have already started building my next session here, so like that. And let's zone it. And check the water. We still have a lot of water, but we are getting a little bit uh, low on power. That's good to remember. Okay, so we unlocked uh, agriculture for our industry. So we have an overlay over our resources here. So we can see, well, forest is forest. So we can see oil as well as fertile land as well and ore. So we have uh, some... Uh, possibilities to build the farms over here so I guess we can do it see no reason not the only problem is to remember <laughs> where where the fertile land is because it, the overlay is removed when you choose a building tool but anyhow So let's just uh, make a one street over there and a one street over there and go like this. And check the overlay again. Okay, so it's almost spot on. Something like that. Okay. Let's just try to be able to zone this as much as possible. So now we have to uh, mark this as an um, agriculture zone. So we make a district, something like that. And we use the farming tool, like that. So now the industry should only be agriculture in this area. So do like that and check so I can remove some of the zoning something like that should work now of course it will need power and water as well so 
bring some power and some water as well. Like that. So, what have happened since I checked up with the town? Okay. No pipes as usual. I do like that. And I'm running out of money, but at least I'm making money now, so that's always good. And we still need more houses. Let's check the traffic as well. Um, okay. Hmm. This looks this looks all right. But we're still going to need more houses. I'm wondering if I can remove these power lines without uh, getting into trouble. I think so. Let's just do something like that. And this is already connected. I mean, the power lines cost money, so or upkeep, so. The fewer the better, and they look ugly as well. Okay, so let's continue with this suburban territory. Okay, my citizens are unhappy, so they want me to build some parks. I guess I could uh, build a small park. Yeah, why not? So I guess the most effective way or effective place should be somewhere around here. I will demolish a lot of houses but cannot really be helped. Let's just place it. And I'm also in need of this high school, but it costs 24k, so... And it's quite a way to the level up. How much is the upkeep? 500, okay. So I could uh, take a loan. <laughs> I almost... Uh, but I don't think it's worth it, I mean, it's 10% interest. This first one is uh, only 5% interest, so it's not too bad. And now I can remove uh, this power line as well. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't understand why it's not... Um, why I'm not getting any farms, but perhaps I only need more um, population. I'm a little bit concerned about this intersection here, but we'll see if it makes or breaks. And we have a lot of traffic over here as well. I will need a roundabout, I think, sooner or later. But I don't have the money to build it yet anyway, so let's not worry, worry too much. Just try to increase the population a bit. Like that. Hmm. Oh well. still have water. We are getting a little bit low on electricity. How much is the wind turbine? 6,000. I 
could build a wind turbine out at the fields, I guess. I mean, no reason not to. It uh, will produce noise pollution, but I mean, the crops will not mind, I think. Or the cows, or whatever. Okay, now the traffic situation is getting worse. And uh, it, there is a lot of trucks over here, so it's the industrial area that uh, causes a lot of these problems. So let's just uh, buy this uh, this land, like so. And that will uh, help me to solve the traffic situation, at least in the future. cannot build the highway ramps yet hmm I'm uh, thinking about um, like building something from this way or if I should uh, try to make a new intersection altogether over here, but that will cost a lot of money. So, hmm. can just try to make it like a, a temporary solution over here. If I build a road like this, then the heavy traffic can go to the industrial area without uh, clogging over here. So, I mean, this is the most, the cheapest solution. However, I don't want people to use that road if they want to go to the industrial area, but it should be okay. So, I will just uh, let it. Uh, Settle down a bit, and uh, when I got some more money, I can start doing some kind of ramp over here. Do I have to? Um, make it uh, closer. Nope. I have no idea why uh, there isn't any farming, but yeah, anyway, I think uh, this part will be done here and uh, let's continue in the next one, so thank you and bye.